here's how to set up custom watch faces for your Apple Watch. To set things up, you only need two things, your iPhone and your Apple Watch. The easiest way is to use the Clockology app. Download it to your iPhone first, then go to the Watch app and scroll down until you see a list of apps. Find Clockology and click Install. Now scroll up and go to General. Scroll down, return to Clock. Set it to after one hour. Now we can proceed with choosing the watch face. The app itself offers a great variety of watch faces. Just look at all this, I'm still scrolling. That's much more than what Apple gives us. I'll admit, not all of these watch faces look as good as the ones made by Apple. But most of them look great. I especially like this one. And this one also looks super cool and fun. Under some watch faces you can see text like Series 7 Plus or Ultra, and this means that these watch faces are made only for those Apple Watch models. I have the SE second gen, and even though it's newer than the Series 7, the display isn't big enough. Also, the Clockology watch faces can show you the weather, number of steps, and other health data. You just have to give the app access. Go to Settings. Scroll down to Clockology and enable full access to location and photos. Next up, open the Health app, Sharing, Apps and Services. Choose Clockology and turn everything on. To add a watch face, just pick the one you like and hit Sync. Then open the Clockology app on your Apple Watch and wait for it to sync. If you want even more choice, then you can always find more watch faces on Clockology subreddit. Choose the watch face you like. Then hit the link to download the file. In the Clockology app on your iPhone, go to Workspace, click Import and choose the file you just downloaded. Then hit Sync. Another source of watch faces is the Clockology Fans Facebook group, but I honestly hate Facebook too much to install the app or log in. Another thing you need to know is that in order to see the weather on the watch faces, you need to pay for a subscription. It's $2.99 a month and it's the only way. Or you can just use the watch faces that don't show the weather. I must also say that despite all the benefits, the Clockology is just an app that runs on your watch all the time. And if you press the digital crown, you'll go back to the standard watch face. The second option you have doesn't have this problem. Watch faces and widgets integrates inside the Apple's watch faces and modifies them. This app also requires a subscription, but the price is much lower. But it also has a 3-day free trial, so you can just add a ton of watch faces during that trial and cancel the subscription. Though the weather in this case may stop working. To add a watch face, you just pick the one you like and hit add this watch face. Then in the sharing window, pick create watch face. All three watch faces use the basic photos watch face and don't have any complications. I think this Casio one is the best free option there is. The most creative watch faces are in the Pro and Complications sections. Watch faces in the Pro section work exactly like Clockology and you need to have the app constantly opened. The selection of watch faces isn't huge, but I find it to be more tasteful than the one Clockology offers. Personally, I like the DeLorean watch face, the Japanese one and the one with the astronaut. To add a watch face, I just click Add watch face and it soon appears in the watch app. Personally, I prefer this digital one and the Ultra. These two look great. Most of these watch faces use the Apple's modular watch face and just add new complications. Yet some of them, like this digital duo and minimalist, actually use modular duo watch face. And despite the app saying that these two are compatible with all Apple Watch models, they can only be used with the Series 7, 8, 9 and both Ultras. Then there's two more bonus options in case you want animated watch faces or create your own watch face. To get animated watch faces, I recommend the Watch Faces app. I know, all of them have really creative names. In the app, head over to Top Charts, Free. Here you'll see all the options you have without paying a subscription fee. All people have different tastes, but I like this one with the paper plane. For these animated watch faces to work properly, you need to turn off Always On. Let me just pull out my old Series 6. Open Settings, Display and Brightness, scroll down, then tap Always On. 
Turn it off. Now when you're back in the app, just hit install watch face and confirm adding the watch face. If you want to create your own watch face, then download watch faces gallery number one. Open the app and click on this brush icon. Here we have two options, create named watch face and create portrait watch face. The first one lets you type some text in a quirky font, add a background and a small sticker. And the second option does all the same things, but allows picking the style of the clock and doesn't have any text in it. This one's alright. The app itself has a ton of interesting watch faces to choose from, but everything's hidden behind a paywall. Apple definitely needs to give us more options to customize our watch faces. And though it's all quite easy to do, I'd surely appreciate a more straightforward and most importantly free way of doing things. Be sure to comment which watch face you liked the most. Thanks for watching, see you soon!